Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'ad We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala abundantly And we ask Allah to exalt and mention and grant peace to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam This thing has been on my mind for a while guys and uh, uh, the, I want to make a lecture, I will eventually inshallah make a lecture or deliver a lecture about the etiquettes of using WhatsApp uh, But until then I'll just give you a brief about some of the agony uh, that I faced with this wonderful application which has become uh, a, a source of extreme benefit and facilitation, honestly. Especially whenever I speak about these matters, I speak from a da'wah perspective, obviously, because we're in the field of da'wah. I'm not discussing business here. Uh, it's very beneficial. It, it has facilitated a lot of events, a lot of activities. Uh, it makes it easy to share all types of uh, stuff, videos, images, so on and so forth. But it could also become a serious form of distraction. And if we don't follow certain etiquettes in, in using WhatsApp, it could make your hair grow. In my case, it could make my hair grow very long. And that's something I try to avoid, as you can see. Um, I will only focus on one aspect, just one piece of advice. If you are a brother, or a sister for this matter, who, who would like to create a group so that you can share beneficial Islamic knowledge, we're assuming everything you're sharing has been verified, has been authenticated, and it's reliable, right? You don't want to share uh, false information, bogus information that will backfire and make you sinful. Then you become responsible on the judge judgment for misguiding, you know, 20, 50, whatever number of people you can add to the group, 50 people maximum, that's the last I remember. So the bottom line is, if you're going to create a group, please, Seek permission from them. What you're supposed to do is send each individual that you would like to add to the group a private message. Fulan, Salaamu Alaikum, my name is Patikh, and I'm going to create a group about whatever. Do you mind joining the group? And then that person will tell you yes, or they will tell you no. And then accordingly, you will have a list of interested people and a list of people that are not interested, and therefore you don't even bother to add them. That doesn't happen. I'll tell you what happens with me. I wake up in the morning and I find myself in a group created by a number plus 91954321. Then I go to the group and then I see another 40 numbers of people that I don't know. And then they start speaking in another language, which is not even English nor Arabic. And then you, I send a voice message like, uh, Salam alaikum, thank you for uh, adding me, but. Can someone please brief me about what this is? Uh, no, it never happens. No one briefs me and so I wind up exiting the group and then deleting the group and then usually five minutes later they add me back. They add me right back. So I say, personally, it's inappropriate, ya akhi. Because there's some sort of soliciting, I would say, or just like you're transgressing against the privacy of others by adding them into a group without any formal notification. Worse than that, you don't even inform them what the topic is about. Worse than that, when that person winds up leaving, you add them back. And then honestly, it makes that person look bad. What bothers me the most is that I look like the jerk at the end, like I'm this arrogant guy who does not want to be part of the group. Realistically speaking, I already have, mashallah, 100 groups that I'm in. And I cannot be in another group that you know, on daily basis, on hourly basis, have, mashallah, 120, uh, 200 messages going back and forth between the people. So, uh, the bottom line of this short reminder is, this is one of the etiquettes of using WhatsApp. If you're going to create a group, seek the permission of a each individual privately, get an approval from them, so when they are added to the group, they know exactly what's going on. And then you can name the group as per the topic. Don't call it, uh, you know, Indian brothers. And then you're speaking about, you know, cricket. But, and, you know, what, there may be a relation between the two. But the people you've added, don't play cricket. And this is not their sport. I know you want to add as many brothers as you can, but it's, there's, no, there's no harmony in compatibility. So we align with these individuals, we add them to the group, and then we try to be active by explaining. Or if you wind up for whatever reason, if you have an urgent situation, you don't have the time to get each one's you know, personal permission, you can add them to the group, then immediately send a message. I apologize for not seeking your permission, uh, permission previously. 
this was an urgent matter, the topic or the reason behind creating this group is ABC, feel free to leave. Feel free to leave if you find this uh, inappropriate or if you don't have time or whatever. So you give the people a peace of mind. At least if they leave, they will not be offensive. They will not feel that they've offended you also. And it makes them easier for them just to exit the group if necessary. So there you have it. There's a lot more to say about WhatsApp. But for now, uh, this is all I have to say. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.